Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me on Berets and today uh, not only recording more of the vision stuff, recording uh, Brave Exvius. I know they're separate games but not, they're actually kind of connected. Anyway, regardless, on the JP side we have not even that much into the Final Fantasy IX event currently with the first CG villain when apparently Alum has decided, hey, what? let's just keep pressing banners on people and so we have gotten an announcement of a special collaboration event. Yeah, surprise! And that collaboration event is... There it is! The Seiken series is coming back, or I, what's it called? Trials of Mana? This is a series that I'm not incredibly overly familiar with because it was one of those game series that I did not play growing up and I really don't have a ton of experience with it, but I know a lot of people like this series quite a lot, or even more, love this series. So, it looks like we will be getting a special kind of event slash uh, banner for this, and that's great for all the fans. So what do we got? Well, it is a time-limited banner, so... Hey, they're not best units, but they are limited time units. Okay, alright. So what do we got? Well, special notes about this, it is 1% per new featured 5 stars, 0.4% for old featured 5 stars, rainbows are collab units only. So that's a, that's a plus, that's a big plus. For anybody who is a big Seiken fan, I think you want to get these units, and that's always kind of a strong part of a banner, is if you are going to get a rainbow, might as well be an on one. Uh, there's also a special banner, a 10 plus 1 guarantees a 5 star, and the ten, 5 10 plus 1s guarantees a new 5 star. I don't know. No, this might be one of the ones where you want uh, somebody else to try this first, but uh, hey, if you're a second fan, you're probably just going to try your luck anyway. So who are the new units? Well, first of all, it looks like we are going to have some upgraded versions of new units, or of old units. So first of all is God Hand Kevin. It's not a Capcom game, so okay, all right, bad joke. But anyway, uh, he is a 5 to 7 star physical attacker with an AoE light damage ability with damage mods up. TMR is a materia 30% attack up with fist uh, plus another 40% and auto refresh. Super TMR is 187 attack fist with 30% attack and limit burst damage up. Well, that is officially the best fist in the game. If you had Tifa Advent Children's version, uh, that might even be a little bit tempting. You might want that Super TMR fist for her if she was one of your favorite characters and you really cared about her. Nah, I'm just trying to bait people. Anyway, Fire and Light uh, Attacker as well as um, has a lot of single target damaging abilities, has a 5 turn cooldown ability and a 7 star with self attack up that allows some abilities for multiple turns and of course some triple cast as well because who, what good unit doesn't have triple cast? I can't wait for the pentacast characters. But anyway, uh, physical attacker, fist base user, but seems like he supports himself pretty good, and the TMR seems uh, quite juicy, so we'll see how good he is, but uh, regardless, nice. Alright, continuing on to the next one is Evil Shaman Charlotte, which, you know, just for being described as an evil shaman, I actually kind of want to get her. Anyway, she is also a physical attacker, magical attacker, and debuffer, so quite the caveat of... Uh, stuff that she can do. Limit Burst is single target, damage two times, fire and dark and peril. TMR, Materia, 40% attack up, 40% magic up, true dual hand attack and magic. Super TMR, a mace two-handed with 172 attack, 123 magic, and equip attack and magic with dual hand. Interesting. A hybrid unit with true dual hand support, and I gotta say that TMR is really nice. If you were interested in hybrids, this is a pretty. This sounds like this is going to be an overcompensated for hybrid unit on the JP side, and I gotta say, 
but Materia is just so, sounds so good depending, of course, pending final percentages on all of that, but uh, Super TMR as well seems like it's the full hybrid package. And now she is a fire dark hybrid attacker, uses Esper Gauge as single hybrid damage, uh, defense and spirit breaks, she has uh, Esper Fill abilities in her kit that deal damage as well. Looks like she has Mech and Demon Killer. And in her 7 star she has AoE Hybrid Dark Damage as well, uh, which is uh, Chaining Group 4 it looks like. Uh, which it should be Mystic Cross if I'm keeping up. I'm still kind of getting back into it. Uh, and she has some fire, more fire and dark and peril and triple casting for three turns from one of her cooldowns. So, uh, evil Charlotte, uh, you know, hybrid. I, I always have a soft spot for the hybrid. So it's wonderful. It's just wonderful. And uh, I think gonna be probably the unit that some people are definitely gonna want. Fenrir Knight Riaz, who is classified as a debuffer. Limit burst, single target damage, wind and dark in peril. TMR, materia attack 50%, magic 50%, wind resistance 40%, dark resistance 40%. That's a lot on a TMR. That's a lot on a TMR. 50% for attack and magic. Sounds like another hybrid unit. Super TMR is a two handed spear, uh, 178 magic, 100, er, 178 attack, sorry. 124 magic, physical, and magical man killer plus auto limit. Wow! Just stack everything on that spear. Yeah, uh, AoE attack break plus self limit burst fill in her kit, as well as uh, has the same skills for defense, magic, and spirit, hybrid damage plus a dark or wind imbue and esper fill. Use some engage to do AoE magic Esper damage, uh, and in her kit she has a full break as well as Esper fill, and uh, use some engage to deal more damage and in perils. So overall, does is Riaz good? Like okay, I gotta say if you are any kind of a hybrid fan, this is a pretty interesting banner just because two of the units feel like they have really good TMRs, and really good super TMRs. It, it should be enough in there to get a kit. Now, also Duran, Angela, Riaz, Hawkeye, Kevin, and Charlotte will all still be on this banner as well. And I gotta say, oh, I'm not overly excited about it. I mean, like, the TMRs and Super TMRs sound juicy. If you are a JP Elena fan, especially, getting some of those um, hybrid supporting TMRs would be pretty darn nice. But do I think that this banner is super worth going on? Well, it's kind of a mix. There's like the aspect of it where it is a collaboration, it is time limited, and Seiken units, I do think that they are popular enough to get some merit. And there is the fact that this banner, if it does poop out a rainbow, it's going to be an on banner rainbow. And that is valuable. But the old units are just so old that I just don't know if it's really going to be worth it for people to try on the banner. Obviously a much, I think a much higher percentage chance of getting the new ones, but the the probably the, the gap of power between old units and new units is gonna be so massive that uh, this could end up feeling quite bad, but I, I'll let you guys decide whether or not you want. But there isn't a ton of hybrid support still on JP and they're going to have to be some kooky kits to really uh, merit pulling, considering that they're already incredibly strong breaks, incredibly strong support units, and insanely strong DPS on the JP side. So, unless we're power creeping the power creep of the power creep that just happened, probably not. So yes, we will be having a Seiken event. Now the uh, Seiken event is a MK event, a Mog King event, really. Just had a Mog King event. Anyway, you'll get some stamina pots. It runs from April 6th to April 23rd, so it'll be going for a while. Hopefully it'll have some tickets on the event for people who will want to pull to make it a little bit easier, because starting with the FF9 banner into this, it's not a dirty deed or anything. It's definitely not anything bad. It's just kind of a surprise. We pulled for Kuja.
But anyway, from the event, there will be three pieces of equipment that you can get and upgrade. A fist that goes up to 135 uh, attack with 20% HP and attack. A mace. There it is. Uh, with 110 attack, 88 magic, upgraded to 130 attack, 110 magic with 20% uh, attack and magic. And last but not least, a spear. I don't know why I listed the regular mace, but anyway, the upgraded spear will be 120 in attack, 150 magic plus 20% attack and magic. Not bad weapons for event weapons by any means. And good if you do get the new units but don't get their super TMRs. And the rabbits will be returning. Oh, tell me about the rabbits. And then you'll be getting some stamina pots and whatnot, too. Because there's a lot of farming to be done, I guess, on the JP side. That's just Arena. That's just Final Fantasy IX. That's all fine. But anyway, the maintenance will be happening Monday for five hours to be added. This, the second minutes in three. There will also be a bug fix Garland's uh, current uh, SBB series boss battle cooldown, all elements resistance will be increased from 20% to 30%, so Garland gets a little bit better too. So overall, nice little update. We got some uh, new stuff coming for the Seiken fans, and some good support for some true dual hand hybrids in the future. So, hey, as a hybrid fan, absolutely. If the event has tickets, I'll just throw the tickets at the banner and I... I think I'm going to hope for the Shaman by a considerable margin. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Tell me if you're excited about the Saken banner and event. If not, eh, it's okay, but uh, we'll still get our mid-month story event, probably. Probably. And for anybody who's been complaining that the fact that we didn't get a gar uh, five star garnet, end of the month raid. Save your resources for it. Anyway, guys, take care. See you next time.